Hey everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be turning into an Instagram baddie. Can you believe it? Look how bad I look right now. We're gonna try and transform this into an Instagram baddie. Can we do it? It might be impossible, but we're gonna try our best. Also, big thanks to the sponsor of this video, The Real Real. We will get into that later in this video. So what is an Instagram baddie, you may ask? And I asked myself this because I've seen a few comments that are like, Oh my goodness, could you imagine Mia transforming into an Instagram baddie? Such the opposite of her. Would it look good? Would it look bad? We want to see it. Also, just a quick disclaimer in this video, if you notice I'm talking a little bit strange or have a slight lisp going on that I don't normally have, it's because I got some dental work surgery done last week. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know I got grafting done. If you don't know what grafting is, basically they take skin from the back of your mouth and put it over recession anywhere in your mouth. For me, it was my front tooth. I'll post a picture right here. TMI this picture, but whatever. <laughs> my braces moved my teeth at a rapid rate and it actually ended up thinning my gums because my teeth are so big I didn't have enough gums to be stretched that much. So that caused it to be very thin and caused it to have recession, which then can cause your teeth to actually fall out if you don't fix it. So I decided to get it fixed and I'm recovering from that. So. That's why I'm talking weird. But anyways, you may be asking yourself, what is an Instagram baddie exactly? And I too asked myself that. So I found this description online. Instagram baddie, a baddie who is Instagram famous for being a baddie, famous for being beautiful, spreading trends, having on point browns, brows and an unspoken confidence. A baddie is a girl who always is on fleek. I can't read, I can't read. Her makeup is effortlessly, <laughs> you guys, I say this in every video, I literally can't read on the spot. I just can't, it's impossible. She's up to date on every trend and she never, and she never ceases to slay. A baddie will usually follow the basic clothing color schemes of nude, mauves, beiges, plums, and browns. Her style is a mix of classy meets bad <laughs> She is the type of girl covered in Nike and Adidas streetwear at the same time sporting designer watches and Versace jeans. This is really descriptive. Wow. I don't think I'm going to match this description. A true baddie can practically have any guy she wants and is the ultimate package. She has taste class and is a perfectionist with everything she does. Okay. On the contrary, a baddie will bring out the worst in other women, causing her to have insecure haters and jealous girls. Okay. <laughs> Uh, that is not what I'm concerned about. This is a really detailed thing. Okay, but I'm a very visual learner So let's search Instagram baddie on Pinterest and see what we come up with because there's a lot of Indicators to a baddie first of all Bootiful very bootiful loose jeans, but also tight jeans lots of confidence lots of beautiful makeup trendy outfits Yeah I don't know if I can do this, quite literally. I don't know if it's going to live up to this, but I'm gonna try. So as you can see, we're starting from zero. I'm wearing a actual matching sweatsuit, which is decent, you know, better than mismatch. I got my hair in a bun. I have no makeup on. We're starting at zero. Let's transform to an Instagram baddie now. <laughs> Okay, I wanna start off with my makeup. I have this picture as inspiration. I saw a theme of big lashes and bold brows and big winged eyeliner and sort of this color of lip. So we're gonna try that. It's weird because it doesn't look like too much is going on, but it looks really good. And it definitely, when I think of Instagram baddie, I feel like I think of this makeup. So I don't know how to look on my face, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We're gonna start off with putting on a base. I'm gonna use the most designer base I have. This is the Tom Ford Complexion Enhancing Primer. Bougie, bougie, like a baddie. Next, foundation. Really just use whatever you want. If you're following this like a tutorial, just any foundation, any base, it doesn't really matter. Now I'm gonna put concealer in the lifting spots because I feel like a baddie would do this. 
Okay, now to set and then we'll get into some fun stuff. This has all been pretty mundane. Okay, I'm gonna try and bronze a sharper face. I don't know if that's possible, but I'm gonna try and like really get in there, make something happen here. Notice how much distress I looked like I was in. I was like, nose contour. Very important to get this right. Shorten the nose on the bottom. Okay, do baddies have blush? I feel like a little bit. I'm gonna use my darker blush. This one's a little bit more of a less pink and just up here. Now I'm gonna go a little crazy with the highlight because I heard baddies like highlight. Okay, here's my complexion. That took longer than it should have, but I think it looks okay. Gonna do the brows now. Gonna have to make them very structured. I wish I still had, I used to do my eyebrows with like a gel, which I feel like would have been good for this, but I'll just have to make it work with this because it's all I got. We'll make it work. Okay, so I have a pretty obvious eyebrow shape already but I just want to accentuate it a bit and then bring it down. Usually I try to ignore the tail end to make it look higher, but I'm gonna actually draw it in. I actually think I may have used to had Instagram baddie eyebrows, not trying to toot my own horn, but I used to fill in my eyebrows. My eyebrows used to take but like 10 minutes to do every day. It's crazy. So I think I actually used to have them sort of. They were really structured and really sharp. Does that look like an Instagram baddie brow? I almost feel like it might. Does it? It's my best. I'm trying my best. Okay, my eyebrows feel big. They feel really big, to be honest. I'm just going to set them down with an eyebrow gel. I like the shape. I just prefer more of a, I guess, less product in my brows. I don't know, but it doesn't matter what I like. I'm trying to be an Instagram baddie. Okay, next we're gonna move into eyeshadow. I think I'm gonna keep it pretty simple with the eyeshadow. First, I'm gonna put a light color under my brow. When I say light, I mean very light. This is Lux. Okay, then we're just gonna blend in a warm brown all over the lid, getting darker <laughs> near the end. I don't know if I just don't have big enough eyelids for this, but it always looks like there's a lot of room that I just don't have, but I'll try to blend it out. Okay, then I'm just gonna put a lighter color in here. Nothing too crazy. Okay, I think that looks good. I don't know. We'll see after the eyeliner. I feel like that's kind of the statement, so I don't wanna mess this up. I really don't want to mess this up, so <laughs> I'm gonna hold my breath. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the tail going out, and I want it to go straight out. What's going on? <laughs> my eyeliner and my eyebrow are going to touch soon. Oh my goodness, I need a second. I just need a second to sit. Wow. <laughs> That's huge. Oh my gosh. I did a big wing. Okay, now I gotta try and do it on the other side. This is gonna be a mess. It's not, I just broke my, I just broke my uh, makeup brush. That's fine. It's not great. The eyeliner's not perfect by any means, but this is as good as it's getting, you guys. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna put some mascara on off camera and then I have some lashes to throw on. I don't know, is it just me or does my face look weird when I do a lot of makeup? I don't know if I'm just not used to it or if it genuinely looks bad. I'm looking at the viewfinder, I'm just like, I look kind of weird. I don't know, I don't know. I just don't know if it's, I don't know if it's for me. I guess. All right, but we are gonna see it through. I got these big lashes, a common, 
common theme amongst the baddies are big lashes, which is something I do not wear. I find lashes to be so wildly uncomfortable, but I'm going to obviously do it for this video and I got big ones. So we're jumping in two feet first. Is that a saying? I haven't put on lashes in so long. I'm actually nervous. Oh, uh. <laughs> It's so uncomfortable. I just hate it so much, honestly. I don't know how people wear lashes every day. I don't know it. I just don't know the dedication that is that. I'm immediately in a slightly bad mood when I have lashes on. <laughs> it's just what happens. Little things irritate me more when I have lashes on. It's just something that happens. I'm not even sure what part of it is annoying me. This is awful. Cut the video. I can't be an Instagram baddie. I can't live like this. I feel like I'm the most dramatic person ever, but I know people who wear lashes like this every day. Does it feel like this? Oh, it's too much. It's too much, you guys. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. Actually, no way. Sometimes big lashes look really good on people. I can honestly say I'm not one of those people. I look crazy, fully crazy. Like if I saw myself on the sidewalk, I would swap over to the other one for sure. Okay, I just took a minute. I feel a little bit better. I still feel weird, but I feel a bit better. So now I'm gonna do my lips. I'm gonna start off by overlining just a smidge. Okay, lining is done. Now I'm just gonna fill in. Oh, that might be a little dark. I don't know. It smells amazing, wow. Okay, now because I like pain, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Lip Injection because I'm not, I'm not already feeling uncomfortable enough. I gotta do this. Ow! <laughs> mm. No, that's fine. No! Honestly, don't worry about me. Ow! This hurts. Okay, here is the makeup look. The tingling in my lips literally just started. Owie. But let's go pick out our outfit and then we'll do the hair. I've got lots of outfits to choose from. I got lots of stuff from The Real Real. So let's go find the most Instagram baddie outfit because I must get out of this. Okay, this outfit won't do. It simply won't do. My face with the rest of this look just don't go together. Let's try on our first option. Let's go. Okay, here is outfit number one. I have lots of inspiration photos. I'll show them on the screen. This outfit, I love all of the pieces and it makes me feel very strong businesswoman, but honestly, it doesn't make me feel like a baddie. Let's try again. Okay, this dress is definitely not Instagram baddie. It's like cottage core, but I'm obsessed with it. So I wanted to show you it because you'll be seeing it again, but not for this video. Oh my, oh my, okay. There's a lot of stomach here. Brace yourself. Oh, and I'm flashing everyone. Okay, but this does kind of feel like the closest outfit we've gotten. I feel like I would see an Instagram baddie wearing this. Straight down to the sunglasses all the way. These pants are actually vintage Balenciaga pants. I have nothing from Balenciaga. Balenciaga, and I'm obsessed with these. They're vintage, and for some reason, they fit me perfectly. I'm kind of obsessed, just saying. But I don't know if this is gonna be the best outfit, but we're closer. I don't feel like myself at all. Interestingly enough, this is a really comfortable outfit. I feel like it doesn't look very comfortable, but it really is, so we're close. Let's see if we can find anything better. Okay, these are classic baddie pants. These are from IMGia. I feel like I see these a lot when I search on Pinterest for Instagram baddie. Just loose fitting pants, which are surprisingly really, really comfortable. And then I paired it with this little crop top. I probably wear some bulky sneakers with this. Oh my goodness, so Instagram baddie of me. My eczema rash is flaring up. <laughs> what a baddie. Okay, but we have one last outfit to try on, which I feel like might be the best, but I'm not 100% sure. So let's put that one on. Okay, last, but certainly not least, we have this IMGia dress. This is really interesting because it actually has like a built-in corset and these puffy sleeves. I really, really like it, but I'm trying to decide between this one and the red top. I don't know which one's more Instagram baddie. I almost am leaning towards this. Am I making the wrong decision? 
I don't know. I just really like this. But I don't know if the other one was more baddie. Ugh. So I want to do my hair, but first I want to talk about The Real Real, the sponsor where I got all of these clothes from. So let's head into the other room and chat about that for a second. On The Real Real, you can shop and sell designer clothing. They have an app and a website and retail stores across the US. You can shop popular brands such as Chanel, Gucci, Reformation at up to 90% off retail. The Real Real has a team of experts who authenticate every item sold so you know every item on the website is real. Shopping and selling secondhand is also a great way to be sustainable. If you want to sell pieces that you no longer use, there are multiple ways you can sell on The Real Real, including a virtual video call with a luxury manager or shipping your pieces directly or dropping them off safely at one of their locations or stores. If you guys are interested in trying out The Real Real, click the link in my bio to learn more and get $25 off your first order. And now we must handle this hair. Let's go. Okay, so I have two different ideas for hair and both depend on which outfit. And I know I said I was deciding on this one, but I almost am being pulled to the red one and I feel like it's a sign. So I'm actually gonna change because that way I need to do it. I don't know, it's calling me. It's calling me, so I must do it. Okay, I feel good about the swap, which makes the hair choice easy. I think I wanna do, it's pretty wavy and then two braids in the front, which kind of reminds me of the early 2000s, which I love, obviously. Now I saw so many adorable hairstyles, but it's so hard to think of what will work for me because I do have really long hair, so I can't do those cute little short flip up looks that I like. And I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. I'm trying to figure out, maybe I should do this straight, like really pin straight. Hair. Okay, I'm gonna section off my hair because I want to get it really straight. I don't want there to be any crimps in here. No waves. I want it to be a really dramatic straight look. Now normally if I'm gonna straighten my hair, I don't really concern myself with making it perfectly straight because who really cares? But in this case, I want it to look extra put together. So I'm gonna really focus on it. Like a lot of times I'll just straighten it and then they'll be like, parts that are messed up. But I won't worry about it today. Or no, I am worrying about it today. I am worrying about it. So let's just snap and have it straight. Okay, straightened hair. Now I wanna add these little braids right in the front. Is this even extra? I'm like seriously doubting myself right now. Are we even doing anything here? Do I look like an Instagram baddie or do I look confused? Okay, I feel like that helped a little. Made me feel a little bit more extra. I don't know. I don't know. I'm beginning to feel like I may have just not been built to be an Instagram baddie. Like maybe I just don't have what it takes. I'm gonna put the full outfit on with some sunglasses and we'll see what we think. Introducing me as a baddie. Okay, you guys, so here is my Instagram baddie look. Head to toe, what do you think? I got a lot of stomach out right now. It's making me a little insecure, but it's fine because I'm a baddie and apparently baddies are never insecure. I actually feel like it all went together quite well. At first I was a little bit afraid of my makeup because it was just so bold, but I feel like now that I have the hair and the outfit on, it's making a lot of sense and I sort of get it. Like I feel really good, I feel really put together. I haven't been put together like this in a very, very long time, if ever. Definitely not in the last year. I obviously have nowhere to go because it's COVID, but I might order a grocery pickup for some quinoa flour. I don't know, maybe I'm acting crazy. I feel like I have a different attitude right now. What is this? Okay, for real though, what do you guys think of my Instagram baddie look? Comment down below. Does being a baddie suit me? Does it not? I feel like it doesn't, but I tried my best. You guys were requesting this for a while. I hope it lived up to your expectations. <laughs> Again, every piece that was featured in this video was from The Real Real, so if you guys are interested, make sure to click the link in my bio and check it out. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!